Hello and welcome to the OWC instructional series of videos. In this installment, we will be adding a second optical drive to an early 2009 Mac Pro. We have already gathered our materials, shut down and unplugged the Mac Pro, and have placed it on a soft, static-free surface. We are now ready to begin. To install the drive, we will need to open the side access door. To do this, lift the latch located in the rear of the Mac Pro until it locks in the open position. You may then tilt the door forward slightly and remove it. The optical drive bays are located here. Grab the drive carrier frame and pull it straight out. Disconnect the SATA cables to completely detach the carrier unit. To prepare the optical drive for installation, you will need a simple paper clip. Straighten the paper clip so that it looks something like this. Put the straightened paper clip into the manual eject hole on the drive and firmly push it in. The drive tray will pop out slightly. Turn the drive over and gently pull the tray out a little more. There are two plastic tabs roughly a third of the way in on each side. Simply push forward on the tabs with your thumbs to detach them, then slide the bezel off the tray. Push the tray back in and the drive is ready to install. The new drive will go in this lower bay. To anchor it in, Apple has provided four mounting screws. They are located on the inner wall of the unit. Remove these four screws and set them to the side. We are now ready to install the drive into the lower bay. Simply line up the drive and slide it into place, stopping when the front of the new drive is even with the old one. Line up the mounting holes on the new drive with the holes in the bay. Then, use the screws you removed earlier to secure the drive into place. Next, attach the SATA cables to both drives. The cable marked B should be attached to the new drive and A should go back to the original. Once they are attached, simply slide the carrier back into place. You may now replace the side door and close the latch. 